And you know this model. If I am a world politician of the modern stature, I will create a war. So that this generation, my generation, my country, till the time I know it, till I am off this horizon, goes in glory, goes in wherever, world will remember me what? After that, after me the deluge. That is the model of production, that is the model of life, that is the model of civilization that we are creating. And on one side is this, do you know that every production process leads to, to two places. One, indirectly or directly supports some arm industry. Every software work, the biggest software inter investment in the world's into communication system, into software, into metallurgy, into engineering came from where? From the Pentagon, from the military, the space research is sponsored by Pentagon. Everything ultimately, wherever you work, whatever you work, a big part of the work that most people do in the world today goes towards supporting. When you take it in little bit, finally it leads to the Pentagon. One particular object, if you want to epitomize the world as one single object, the Pentagon and all its accesses or allies. The other one is into dissipation of valuable resources in the form of sense, what is that, uh, what is that, not modification, but a full indulgence of the sen senses. You can draw a line, how much sense indulgence you want to get in. Because every sense indulgence that we do today comes at a cost. It comes, everything that is produced, every service that is done, be it insurance, banking, finance, money, bank or anything, comes from resources that are spent, from energy that is spent. Plus the people who put in their valuable bit. People are always available. They will come, they will go. The other resources are dwindling. Therefore, what I am trying to paint is that the direction that this world is going is not right. We are into business management. We are into management of processes that will accentuate profits, that will accentuate productivity, that will accentuate this cyclical process of consumption of valuable resources, capital valuable resources and turn them to dust. Because of in any process, whatever takes out of whatever you take out of it, more than 40 to 50 percent goes back as unusable waste. It can never come back for being used by us or by our future generations. On the other hand, there are life cycles which are possible, which have been lived because of inability to do this process. I will again bring about a political comparison. In Russia, there used to be huge queues during the communist years for one type of bun, for one type of meat. When meat of goat or something is not there, it used to be horse meat. But what was there? One type available through Russian shop. Ten people could get it from on the side because of whatever reason. Rest of them all had to stand in long queues. But the amount of natural resources that the Russian society was spending on these kind of things was very, very marginal. Unfortunately, they put all their resources into fighting the American arms race. Therefore, they went down the drain. They spent most of their energy fighting the space, the arms race and those kind of things. They spent very little resources on their own people and that society subsisted with that. Today you have 21 brands of toothpaste. Made from what? Today you have hoardings all over the place. You have buses, luxury buses, people travel. You want a business, you take a drive. I think I quoted this thing before. You work for 18 hours a day. You want to de-stress. It is not natural for a human being to work 18 hours a day. You want to de-stress. You want to take a break. You look for sense gratification. You need those agents of sense gratification. 
You spend 18 hours a day converting raw material into weapon. Next, 4 hours you spend converting raw material into useless waste for sense gratification. This is the productivity model of the world if you look at it in detail. Step out from this angle and look at it. This is a perspective that I would like to bring to you. What you should do about it is what you have to define. But you should not, whatever it is that you do, you should not pers forget that such a perspective exists. If you live forgetting this perspective, <coughs> Fine, you can live. You are living like any other moron. You are not living as a human being. You are not living as an accountable human being. Okay? So keep this perspective in mind. The other thing that I would like to talk to you about, you, the better things. Leave the grey pictures aside. Well, everywhere you talk about people, hear about quality of life. To my mind, quality of life has got four aspects. And these four aspects, the balance of these four aspects is what brings quality of life to an optimum. The first thing is work. You spend almost eight, ten, whatever number of hours at work. Work is your productive end. Work is one part. The other part is your own interest, art, hobbies games, your ability, your natural creative talent. You might be able to use many of your creative talent at work. Work it then this becomes part of the work. But then there might be things that you might have beyond work, music, unless you are a musician. That one part of individual creativity, individual bloom that brings about a kind of satisfaction which no regimented or drill can bring about. No physical productivity can bring about. It need not be that you need to be a good physician. The ability to enjoy music, the ability to sit and enjoy, be in a trance with music itself is a part of that. The third is your family, involvement in your family. The young face of your child, your brother. The innocence, it makes you a human being. You forget the cruelty of the world, you forget the beast who, who knocked you down yesterday on the roadside and abused threats at you. These things, the love of a father, the love of a mother, the love of a spouse, the interaction, the family, keeps you alive in a big way. And if you neglect this to give to work or to any other, any other aspect of living, you are giving out on one big part which brings quality to your living. The fourth one is a community representative, component. I don't mean community like in the sense of India. I do not know anything about the Bihari out there or somebody in North East. They are all administrative divisions. India is an administrative division of so many states where I involve myself in an administrative capacity. I pay tax, I do a thing that at the, this community of India this administration of India gives me something in return. Let me survive by ways of it gives me transport, it gives me roads, it gives me water, this, that, all those things. That is an administrative boundary. It could be India, it could be Pakistan also. It could be Europe also. There is no, in my view, there is no more. I have served in the defense for 21 years. I will tell you that I do not have a sense of patriotism in the classical sense that we know it. I have a strong feeling for the community where we live, where we all interact. The survival of the community by means of direct action, the survival of